We have majorly mucked up. Where? Okay, so I don't really know how to, or even whether or not I should say anything. That food was the best food we have had in Malaysia so far. It's quite girthy. Let's just do a quick review. I just can't believe that this is just... might be a surprise in there. What are you doing? Oh, are you ready? Basically, my head isn't even in the frame. Yeah, no, people just like to see my mouth there. You know? All right, guys, I'm doing the intro today because I've realised the channel needs a bit of a <laughs> bit of an uplift, you know? No. no. All right, we're checking in to a new apartment, but it's cheaper than the other places in this building. So it's £600 a month instead of £900 a month. So we don't know what it's going to be like. So that's why we thought we'd vlog today, so we can show you whether we have majorly mucked up and we're going to be stuck in a horrible place for a month, or it'll be fine and we've got nothing to worry about. Let's find out. Let's find out. But first, we need to check out. We need to check out. Let's see how long the lifts are going to take. Hopefully not long. We have once been waiting 30 whole minutes. Yes. Level 90. So the lifts were quite easy in the end. Now we are going to Toast Box, I think it's called, for coffee. We've never been. See how it goes. It's a lovely, lovely day. Well, it's not too warm, is it, either? But yeah, we can check into the Airbnb from 12. So we've just got like an hour and 15 minutes. We've got video to upload. Um, and then we're going back to where we went yesterday to meet Jaya because my mum sent me a parcel from England that's got my no noble trainers in, Harry's silicone ring. What was the other thing that was in there? Oh, my eye mask. The whole reason of the parcel was my eye mask that I accidentally left. So it was sent to Jaya's mum's house because I don't have an address to send it to. So we're gonna meet Jaya and collect that. And then I wanna get a pedicure. Ooh, muffins. What do you want? Oh yeah, it smells like, it's all right. like normal good coffee, yeah. Less than a pound. Oh, it's warm. Do you want to try it? <laughs> it's extremely like fluffy and moist, but sometimes when things are hot, you can't taste them as well. So I can't, like flavour is kind of just nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Nerves are settling in. What is it going to be like? It is 12 o'clock. Let's go. Smoke. But no, oh, it's cute. Oh, Girlfriend, wow. it's cute. Honey, I'm home. I mean, it fucking stinks of smoke. Wait, let's not swear. It absolutely stinks. It stinks of smoke, so let's open the windows because I'm not having that. The view's kind of cute. Yeah, I'm. I'm, oh, it's so cute. So let's do a little room tour. I mean, first, let's let's get the bags in. Right, before anything else happens, let's do a room tour. As you can see, come through the door. Oh, I like that the aircon is there, so it's not directly on the bed, so that's fantastic. I really like 
I really like this. I really like that the kitchen is like separate to the rest of the room. It just, just a bit more of a homey feel. It's got everything that the other place had. Although, Harry, it's got a toaster. Has it? I don't know if it's got a light though. No backlight. <laughs> a water dispenser. We all know how much I love one of those. And now for the crockery. Let's have a look. Some glasses. We didn't have those last time. Actually, explain the difference. I mean, this is your cute bowls. That one doesn't open, so no idea what's in that. Nothing. Oh, what are they? And floor things. So I am looking for, yeah, I mean, kind of. We've got a scraper and a dustpan, but no brush. So maybe we'll purchase a brush. Bin bags, yes, darling. Uh, this Airbnb is so well equipped. Oh, it's, it's come with an umbrella. It looks, looks a bit like a bin bag, but it's come with an umbrella. That looks like a very high tech washing machine. Two umbrellas, in fact. Oh, hold on a minute. Nick, got me little, got a little brush. Don't need to buy a brush. Some toilet roll, some kitchen roll. Have you got any food? No, just a clean fridge. Oh look, it's got a little laundry bag, laundry basket. An ironing board, and an iron. Bed is just the same as, I feel like it might be a little bit more comfortable, you know? Yeah, the bed is just the same as the other ones, except we've got a few more cushions going on here and a very nice decorative bedding. And we've actually got, oh, bit of a broken drawer a bedside table on both sides and then yeah obviously like really nice touches for artwork but how lovely is this how cute is this little instagrammable table it's like marble top and then is this gingham and a yellow or gold whatever you're gonna call it i like it harry yeah. with the with the windows open, it's smelling less of smoke. The only thing is, is we're gonna report back on how our sleep was because I think we're gonna be able to hear the mosque really loudly, but maybe it'll just be something we get used to. Oh, I haven't even checked the bathroom. Oh yeah, I like this arrangement, but again, it just, just stinks of smoke. Oh, some toothpaste, brand new toothpaste. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Welcome home, everybody. <laughs> Okay, so I don't really know how to, or even whether or not I should say anything. And I mean it in by no means any offense to anybody. It, like, it's just a fact, but we are very close to the mosque, as you can see. And so it does mean that early hours of the morning, 6 a.m. currently, that you can hear the mosque very loudly, very clearly, but it's just because it's right there and we're the first like tall building, the first noise block in the way. This is where the sound travels. So it does wake you up. However, we have developed a solution because obviously we are now stuck here for a month and you do need sleep. You Like we're not used to getting up at six. We're not going to bed until like 10, 11, just because of our routine. And obviously sleep is extremely important to us because of the gym. So it's kind of not an option to wake up at six. It's also not light. So the first first night like I had anxiety sleeping knowing that I would be able to hear the mosque and I wouldn't be able to I wouldn't be able to like sleep so I actually only got like four hours sleep and it was awful and I just knew I just knew I couldn't couldn't live like that so the second night we tried white noise I've never slept with white noise before and I just simply put it on my phone fell asleep with it on because for whatever reason like the prayers were going on until it was like 11 o'clock and I I was quite tired yeah tried white noise and it did work to put me to sleep however when I woke up in the middle of the night was like my brain was a bit confused and I do sleep with earplugs naturally anyway but I can like you can still hear it through the earplugs 
But then what we have started to do is, it's not, it's not the, the most environmentally or economically friendly thing to do, but is sleep with the fan on full rotation speed, on full speed. It just generates this noise that I suppose is white noise um, and your ears and your mind just become like tuned into the sound of the fan and just kind of distracts and drowns out when that noise does begin to happen at six. You're kind of like already listening to the fan. It just kind of doesn't register with you. So we have successfully now not heard or not been woken up by the moth. So obviously like through the day, like whatever, it's fine. It does, doesn't make any difference to us, but it's just that thing of waking up. And also if you are trying to go to sleep early or you have young children, it is very loud, but that's just part of being here. But yeah, that's a, that's a solution. Half unpacked, but we're gonna get a train. Because Joe says she's left. Should I take a bottle of water? No, I'll buy one. Bit of a nicer view today. So we're gonna find Jaya and family and co in this market, but we don't actually know how. It's bloody hot though. Yeah, the date. This one, and then the this one, I have to tell them. Um, we can just make them a little card, and then yeah. and then the date. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The name yeah. is on top, right? Yeah. yeah. Name has to be on top. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> you want to hold it? Hey. Yeah. Somebody just give me it. Okay. Hello. Papa, say hi. You say hi. We did. Shall I come and say? You say hi. Say hi. Hello. You say hi. iPhone vlogging, the lighting in here is whatever that is. That's amazing. Do you see his like the way his hand moves as he does that? That's absolutely incredible. That's kind of look insane. Yeah, it's a very nice. Sesame, sugar, and it's very nice. It's, it's like rice dough. A whole block of rice, rice dough. It's actually made from one, huh? rice. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. It's very nice. What is that? Bye. 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 
So at the time of making this video, on this day, on this particular day, a Saturday afternoon, Sunday, a Sunday afternoon, we did not realise it would be our last moments with Jaya. She was leaving on the Tuesday and yeah, I don't know, just, just didn't. We were going to do it because we were going to collect my parcel and that was that. For context, who is Jaya? Um, Jaya used to work with my mum as a nurse, so they, so she has known me since I was young and then in my adult life I have had the um, opportunity and ability to develop my own relationship with her and have a connection with her through my love for Asia and obviously she's from Malaysia from, from Kuala Lumpur originally. She moved to England when she was younger, I think maybe 18, um, but has come back to Malaysia once a year every year to spend time with her family. So she was coming here for her annual visit and we were in Thailand and it has always been said from the minute that I, began, that I began traveling, if I would ever like to go with Jaya from England or meet Jaya or whatever, I'm more than welcome. So yeah, we were in Thailand and decided this would be our next stop. Jaya's coming, let's, let's go, like, let's go meet up with her. That's how we've ended up in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah, and Jaya, if you are watching this, welcome to YouTube and Thank you so much for all that you've done for us for the past month, for sharing your wonderful family with us and showing us everything through your eyes um, and helping us make Kuala Lumpur feel like home. There's so much to be said for it when our home is so far away. Yeah, and we can't thank you enough. It's an experience that we never would have got otherwise. And yeah, we appreciate it so much. If someone is kind enough or generous enough to offer you their home or their knowledge or their experience with you, then like obviously provided it's a safe environment or a safe thing to do, then take it with open arms and an open heart because there is just so much to be learned and explored and seen that Google can't offer you. Um, I, like I, I can't offer you. They're things that this is somebody's home and it, there is just so much value in experiencing it through their eyes. Um, you just you just get such a different feel for somewhere if if you have access to that if you are lucky enough to meet somebody who's gonna be that generous anyway back to the video okay parcel is acquired um i need a drink yeah sorry hot sweaty mess right now so uh Jo ended up being with her nephew and children so that was really lovely we just spent a few hours with them and we have just been to the best, the best Malaysian food we've had so far in Malaysia or ever. Um, it is called Palmyra 28 and Jo and I actually found it probably in another vlog. Um, but I went in looking for the toilet and so at lunchtime they have a set menu. It's only 25 ringgit each, which is not even five pounds. So for Harry and I, we spent like about nine pounds on this food um, and it was so tasty. Like, yes, it was spicy, but just such good flavors. It was, yeah, incredible. Definitely highly, highly recommend if you want to try Malaysian food that's not street food or you're just in that area and you need some food, then honestly, like so, so, so lovely but anyway uh i really want to open the parcel might be a surprise in there I doubt it because i have to do all of the customs forms thanks mom blimey woman she's got a lot of sanitate i just can't believe that this has just been just chucked in a plane or would it be a boat oh my god would it be a plane or a boat it'd be a plane, oh, a plane. is it Parcel force. Anyway, are you ready? Ready for the grand reveal? Oh, boring. My eye mask. Let's just do a quick review. This eye mask is insane. Uh, let me show you. You've probably seen them, um, but they've just got the cups on here to go around your eyes. It just means that like, you know when you wear an eye mask and you get the flap underneath and then you're just like, you're still sensitive to light because you can still see the light, whereas this, covers your whole eye so you just can't see anything anymore and then the shoes yeah they definitely smell like shoes and then where's the ring where's the ring where's the ring where's the ring hmm what did she say she did with the ring oh 
Mm. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, what clever woman. It only took us 12 seconds though, we don't get too excited. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on then. I don't want to share my thumbs. Oh, oh I like the black. Oh, is it a bit tight? Yeah. Is it a bit tight? Is it a bit tight? No. I think it's just my... Harry, is it a bit tight? No, it's fine. I'm a bit swollen, but it's fine. Is it too tight? Put it in the comments below. Yeah, that's too tight. Well, we need someone to do me anyway, so we'll just someone for you as well. Ah. Anyway, I've got my shoes, so I'm buzzing about that, and I've got my own mask. Anyway, dinner is gonna be non-exciting. I'm either gonna cook, or we're gonna just go to the shop. What are you doing? Making it, melting it a little bit. Why well, is it a bad idea? It doesn't fit anyway, so what am I going to do? So yeah, I now need to go and post a vlog. We're going to head up, head up to the business centre because our new apartment's Wi-Fi is a bit not very good. We're going, we're going to go up there, do some work, and that'll be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed. Today's lessons are... I need something quite girthy. Go to... Go to Patarling... Uh, toothbrush. Go to Passar Cine and go to that Chinese man and get him to do you a painting and also go to that, that restaurant because that food was the best food we have had in Malaysia so far. Um, it might even be the best food I've had since I've left home, I'm not really sure. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.